Hi there, I'm Kate and today we're going to look for some insects um, in a woodland. Uh, I know what you're thinking, it's March, it is still pretty cold, there's not many insects around here, um, but they are there if you look for them and today we're going to have a little hunt, see what's here and try and get some photos of them. So this is the woodland that we're going to be in this morning having a little look. It's quite windy as you can probably hear, um, but it is nice, quiet, there's lots of big piles of wood, um, lots of leaves for the insects to go in and we'll really hunch down in the cold weather, which is perfect. Um, a good way to find insects would be to obviously lift or roll the bits of the wood and pull the leaves back. Um, you must always remember though it's really important to put everything back uh, the way you found them so that the insects can carry on having it as their home. Um, so we're going to have a little look at some wood and see what we can find. So I've rolled this log back, it's quite rotten, it's quite wet, perfect place for fungi and insects that are overwintering in the warmth and um, straight away we have found these eggs. Don't know whose eggs they are. They could be a snail egg, they could be slug eggs, they could even be spider's eggs in some instances. Um, so it's really interesting and you can always come back and monitor those eggs and see what hatches in the future, which is great. So I'm just taking some photos of these eggs, um, macro. Get sort of really close to them, have a look at their details and things like that. And they're going to come out really well, so I'll, um, I'll show you the end result when they're all edited. The photos of the eggs came out really well, and you can see from these macro shots just how fascinating they really are. I'm pretty sure they're slug eggs, but I'm really not sure of the species. Maybe a lemon slug or a leopard slug. There's also some fungi. Um, underneath this log because it's really nice, it's damp, um, it's moist, it's, it's just what they like. Um, so I've taken some photos of that too and I'll be able to show you later. Of course now I've finished, I'm going to roll this log back so that everything is safe and protected. After some research I have discovered that this is actually a type of mould called black pearl slime mould rather than a fungi. They're usually found on moist soil, decaying wood and dung. They were once considered a fungi, but they are now classified as protozoans, as unlike fungi, they can actually move, creeping slowly and engulfing particles along the way. They are common in the UK and are found in large colonies. So I've just picked up this old metal sheet and um, there's lots of life under here. There's obviously the humble earthworm, there's wood lice, um, there's some ants. Uh, it's really interesting, so I'm going to get some shots of, of everything that's under here and um, get those on so that you can see. So, found some really exciting creatures under that piece of metal. Got some good photos, going to get those on later and I'll be able to tell you all about them, what they are and, and just general information which is going to be really interesting. So I'm going to pop this bit of metal back now and we'll move on. This is a little row of beetle. They're small greyish black beetles around five to six millimetres. They're quite widespread and they're frequent in the UK all year round. The ground bugs are usually a dark brown plant feeding species. They like various damp areas, often moist leaf litter or old tree trunks, and many overwinter as adults like this one. So these little millipedes are pale brown and they're common in the UK. They have about 100 legs, but they still move very slowly. They are found inside bark, usually on fallen rotten trees, and they can live a long time with females laying eggs every three years. This is a pretty ground beetle which has a blue coloration to the wing cases. It's commonly found under logs or loose bark. They are common in England and Wales and they are most seen in spring and summer time. This little woodlouse is called a striped woodlouse. They are usually a very colourful species with many different variations. Some are even yellow. This 
this big bit of wood that I've just turned over is really exciting. There's loads going on underneath, um, which is lovely to see uh, at this time of the year, despite it still being very cold. Um, there's still lots and lots of insects there, all resting. So I'm going to get some more photos, some more shots of them, and then um, see what's going on. But there's a devil's coach horse just down by here. This beautiful beetle is the best known and largest of the rove beetles in the UK. When disturbed, it raises its abdomen into an aggressive scorpion-like position and opens its large jaws. If still threatened, it can squirt a foul-smelling fluid from its abdomen and, be warned, this beetle can also give a painful bite. It usually emerges after dark to feed on other invertebrates such as slugs and wood lice. It has an unusual name and it has been associated since the Middle Ages with the devil, curses and superstitions. It was thought to be able to curse people by pointing its raised body in their direction. If anyone knows why they are linked to coach horses in their names, then please let me know, as I'm really interested to find out. So we'll have a little look, see what we can find. And then of course, like always, we'll be rolling the log back again, so that they can carry on with their lives. So I've just uncovered this piece of wood and underneath is a beautiful chrysalis from a moth where the which it's really hard to say which type of moth it could be a, a type of hawk moth um, but that will be placed back down so that that chrysalis is protected and can go on and develop and hatch out in the sort of summer time really good to see. Another thing to look out for in woodlands are fallen trees. Um, they can shelter lots and lots of different insect wild and wildlife. And, um, they can also support other types like birds in ways like this with little baths and things in the bark. And these are really good bodies of water to look for other types of insects such as springtails. I'll try and find some and get some photos. But yeah, keep your eyes peeled for, for things like this as well. They're really good. So I've got some really good photos of um, the springtails. Springtails are really cool little creatures. Um, they're tiny. Um, they're so small that they don't break the surface of the water. So they can happily sit on that water and float around um, and not, not sort of sink down in. They're called springtails because underneath their tails they've got a little projection um, like spring, that when they're in danger or they want to get away quick, they can just flip that spring and um, and they just, you know, spring away from, from whatever's troubling them. Um, pretty cool creatures. Well, it's been a lovely day today in the woods. There's been loads of things to see. I've been really surprised about the amount of insects that are actually around at this time of the year in this weather. It's been really, really wet, really windy lately. Um, and so it's it's really good to sort of go out into the woods, look under logs, look under sheets and things that you find, and you'll discover so much that we've got around in our woodlands. So get out there and give it a go. It's really good. Next time, see you soon. Bye.